Welcome back to Clooney Garage. We're all vaxxed up, Frankie. How are you feeling? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Saw so arms, got my passport oh, ready to go. Passport. We're allowed to travel. Heaps of content coming today. Check this out. Well, poor old Ute, she's looking a bit sad and neglected. No one's done anything to it. How about we go racing again? Friday, it's happening, Frankie. Let's get to Wakefield. Can't wait. Look out. Oh, geez, it's going to be good fun, isn't it? So, Fred Jr., I'll tell you what, these um, these wheels is what we had on there last time. And then, look, oh, look at that brake dust. Look at that. I'll put that on bloody Mrs. Fred's cake. It's beautiful. beautiful. It's really nice. And Frankie, what do you got here? You got front braces, struts, and all sorts of. Well, we're not going to be able to put it on uh, for Friday for you, Fred, but um, we would better put this on at some stage and uh, hopefully that'll s stiffen up the front end a little bit and nice. stop a, a little bit of understeer. I've got no idea. It might make us worse, might make us a ton better. Not right. sure. Well, I've had a lot of comments about your plumbing of your uh, catch can here, Frankie. I can report that the catch can is working. We've got the right amount of vacuum um, through the PCV now. And Frankie, we're going to use your uh, shower cap on our power steering. That's what we normally do to calm our power steering pump down. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, blame me for the um, the plumbing for the the catch can. I had no idea, and it didn't work at all. No. So thanks to the guys at Gentech who actually have an idea, they've fixed it up for us, and it actually is uh, pulling a little bit of um, yep. And it's that um, one at the back there that's that. giving us the vacuum now, and that's starting to um. I'll tell you what, if you're after a nice Coca Cola of the morning or a nice dark, you know, coffee, either that. Have one of those after a race day. Happy days. Good old Max. Yeah, that's it. All right, Frankie. So our cooling issues are solved, I think, with our um, new cold thermostat. And um, come Friday, we should be up for another PB track lap time. Looks like it's going to be a dry day, yeah. let's hope. And Because uh, we've had a bit of water, yeah. a bit of rain and precipitation. But yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be funny not having it gurgling away every time we come in. No. But... Uh, We'll wait and see on that one. And speaking of lap times, you might have to show Fred Jr. a new a modification you bought. So when you're taking a race car around a racetrack, times are everything. And um, we've bought ourselves one of these little race box pros. These are the go. Look at these things here. So we've just got that off the driving line there. Um, so it's got a GPS sender inside it. It does lap times. It also can, if, you, if you're into the drag racing side of things, you can do not to uh, 400 meters. And um, we'll be testing that out. We'll do a full product review on Friday after we test it out. Whilst we're working on the ute, the VP, we've been onto that too. So as you know, these cars have been out in the sun for a long time. We've been getting new old replacements. So have a look at that. That's our passenger side, new old tail light. And um, the Perkins Engineering YouTube channel has been inspiring us as well. So um, we just can't put old things on this car. It's too good. And the, the standard it's going to be built to is, um, is all good, but Frankie, you can't get new old garnishes, so what do you got yourself there? Well, um, you'll have to clean this up and you can do your miracle buffing work on the plastics. But um, this is probably as good a one as you're going to find, isn't it? You've I'd done well so. to, to grab that. And uh, I think the Perkins Engineering one, they painted it, but uh, Brocky, he had it yep. nice and shiny and red. So Brock's was the full red one, and as we'll show you in a second, on our car, we actually think our VP's been in a rear ender because... Our rear garnish was a Calais, and they don't know Calais, so, um, and our rear tail lights were a mishmash as well, but this is as good as they come, Frankie. You cannot buy this new old. You have to have to find one reckon, and that's what we did. Too good for a race car, really, isn't it? Oh, that's right. So as I mentioned, this poor old VP, and we think, we thought it was a Bellina rear garnish, but from more and more I can see that is a Calais rear garnish, so... That is going to go. We'll, we'll keep a hold of it just in case someone wants it. So um, if you're doing up your VP Calais, come and speak to me. All good. Um, the next thing we've been doing, Fred Jr., is take a look in there. That has taken a month of Sundays. And Frankie's technique of the chisel and um, tapping it away and then a bit of metho. And um, that's, that's what we've been doing. So still lots more to go. And Frankie, tell me about what the back here will be filled with in the, uh, in the coming months. Well, it's, it's got to be blue, doesn't it? Brocky's car was all blue and... Uh... Had a bit of bar work in the back, so uh, you've got to get a bit of a kit and um, put a re-wing on it and some, some bracing in the boot. And yeah, he had his filler here. I'm not sure what we're going to do for our um, our drop tank, but uh, yeah, 
Had to grind it to it, eh? Yeah, and I think uh, maybe a fuel pot over here, Frankie, and a dry sump oil system. Oh, yes. 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 Well, we found some stuff online, though, old race car stuff, so yeah. hopefully we can get some goodies and, and shove them in the back and have a you know, set of Ryko uh, filters for the, the lift pump and all the other little fun bits he had in the back here. Yeah, happy days. But this, this car continues to impress us. Not an ounce of rust. I mean, have a, if you're going to have a VP Commodore, they will rust in the back here, particularly on this underneath the rear window here. That is tickety-boo. And if you have a look, in, even in uh, the, the wheel well where the um, spare tyre goes, that's normally full of rust. Ours is happy days. Dry as, isn't it? So um, let's go have a look inside what we've been doing. Now, when you buy a second-hand car, normally the deal is you let the previous owner take it around a racetrack. In this instance, we had a phone call from the previous owner. She, she's coming on Friday. Happy days. Thanks, uh, Mrs. Wong. Okay, happy days there. So we've been doing a serious amount of work in here, as you can see. Um, more sort of scraping away and sh show down there for a junior. There's still a lot more work to go. The hardest bit's underneath those pedals in the footwell. Um, but, you know, I've been coming out here after a full day of work and just chipping away. I tell you what, it's, uh, it's good fun. And uh, it does the lungs, it do does lungs wonders. So, um... Don't worry about that. So you've probably seen all this rain around Australia, and I tell you what, Frankie and I are praying it doesn't rain on Friday. But um, if it doesn't, we'll be heading out on our Nankangs, even though these are for the uh, the VF. They're our original red lines. We'll be putting them on the ute. But the backup, Frankie, is your dear old ute, and you love nittos. Oh, yeah. They'll be fine in the wet. Yeah. But, uh, we won't be going real fast. Look at those. Fine. Look at those rain channels there, Frankie. I think they'll be, they'll be perfect, won't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The forecast is... Uh, Hopefully for not more than a shower. Right. That way slow us down. No. But I think to prepare ourselves, we might be uh, painting that wheel to make it look as good as that one. You've got to be flash as a rat, don't you? Yeah. Can't That's have brake dust. You don't want that. Now, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you know we love our nuggetses, and there's no better nuggets than the gets itself. And Frankie, you're, you're now the, the new owner of this uh, track beast, and I hear you're going to put it in the World Time Attack to... Go against the world's fastest. Why not? Yaris, maybe? It's got a chance, I reckon. Right, okay. Jeez, I don't know about that, but we'll give it a go. Now, I hear you're going to do some aero. What's, what, what's your thinking there? Well, I think um, it doesn't have any grunt. No. We know that. So the only thing we can really do is a bit of aero. So right. I'm guessing a, a kick-ass front splitter. Oh, jeez. Because it, uh, it's a very pretty car. Yes. And uh, I reckon we can improve on its looks. Right. So why not? And um, maybe a rear wing. Okay. Uh, give us some, some rear aero. Right. Uh, and maybe a homemade diffuser. But um, right. the uglier the better, I'm thinking. Right. Okay. Uh, we can use some uh, garden edging and... Um, Plywood? Uh, uh, yeah. I've right. seen all that on uh, on YouTube. Okay. Some of the, some of the um, contributors yes. on YouTube have right. done some excellent ones. So I reckon we, we've got to be able to do what they do. You know what I want to do? I want to knock off one of the cylinders here to make this a three-cylinder. Because yeah, I... It would only be fair. I think they are the duck's guts. Why not? Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, a bit of aero, a bit of um, right. chemical um, supercharging, maybe. And, now, uh, I, hear, I hear you're quite fond of nitrous. That's right. I've watched all the Fast and the Furious. So, speaking of functional aero, when you've got a model car to have a look at here, and Frankie, I know you're quite a Honda aficionado, so use the Type R and show us what you're going to do to the gets. Well, you can see these little, I don't know, end plates or canards or whatever these things are on, on the side. I think we do something like that. And we have them about this long and, and maybe about that high. And what do you, what do you reckon, about a metre in front of the car, we, we could have the um, the splitter. And uh, well, we've got to get a little bit of downforce from that, I, I would say. Maybe. <laughs> Frankie, I've got to. All right, so we're going to wrap up here at Clooney Garage. We've got another episode coming next weekend after we go to the track day on Friday. Frankie, I'm pumped. Hope you are. Oh, Three. definitely. Right. Yes, I'm hoping for a PB. Let's hope Let's we go. can do something a little better. Now, it's not a track school day or a track day club day. It's actually a Jimmy Nats halfway Nats day. So we're going to be racing as the Geminis. They're in good some, form there, haven't we? There are some fast cars there. They Frankie. love us. Yeah, they do. Yes. Um, people have asked me, is the ute slow? And will it be able to keep up? I, I, I don't know, Frankie. So we'll, we'll have, have to blow, have... doors blown off by a few uh, yes. little things last time. So yeah. let's see. Have to wait and see. Don't do it for Dale. Do it for Rocky. Catch you later.